Hey guys, this is Tom from Tom Tutorials here today, and guess what? Today I'm going to be showing you how to model for Gmod, pretty much. And this is going to be a pretty in-depth tutorial, but for the beginner, or for the intermediate, or even for the expert, if you're forgetting how to do it. So here we go, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is get the software called Blender. You can get it off of blender.org. You can just download that or you can get it on Steam, which I highly recommend because it's really easy to launch. It's portable and whatnot. So anyways, after you get Blender, it'll pretty much look like this. You can like use your I'm not gonna tell you guys how to use Blender. You can figure it out on your by yourselves like plenty of tutorials out there on how to use Blender. And what I'm gonna do is actually to actually export from Blender, there you need something that's called Blender Source Tools. And this actually helps you get models out of Blender into the sort of Gmod workspace. So uh, let's just go ahead and open up our project real quick. So here's my door. It may look kind of bad, don't judge. So right now I have this model, right? So I'm going to get the Blender Source Tools. You can get it on, um, the link will be in the description, of course. Then you just go ahead and click Download. I already downloaded this, so, you know, I'm going to go into my um, tutorial here, my Downloads, and let's just, uh, you know, by the way, if you see what I'm doing right here, I'm just clicking on this, you know, I'm just, like, copying Control-C, it's kind of easier like that. So, you know, I can go into the file and User Preferences, and then what I'm going to do, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go to the add-ons tab and then you know you can hit install from file and of course you can paste that in, hit enter and right there of course you just hit install from file. I already have it installed though so I'm not going to do it again but anyways. Um, then you're you're going to have to find it so you know you just type in, you type in blender whatever blender source tools in a little search box you make sure it's checked and then make sure it hits save user settings so we we're, we're good for that so now we have our model right so we want to export our physics model and our regular models. This is our physics model for this, and what the physics model actually does is what people hit in game. It's actually the thing that people collide with, that players, their characters collide with, so that you don't you don't walk through this. It's the physics model. You know, you figure it out. So now what we're gonna do is double tap A, or just hit A, just so that everything's selected, right? Make sure you're in object mode, and in your viewport. So then, you know, you can do this, and now what we're going to do is actually go down to, we're going to make sure we're in the default workspace, and we're going to go into here, and yeah, we click this, and now we're going to scroll down to the bottom, it's going to be like source engine export, so we're going to open that thing, don't mess with any of these settings, they're all chill. So then you want to make sure it's an SMD. Now export path, so set this path to like where your blend file is. That'll be fine. So engine path. So this will be the path to our engine. We're in C, right? Let's go program files 86. All right, let's go into Steam. Let's go into Steam apps, common. And now we can find Gary's Mod, and we click Bin. Alright, so here's our Bin for Gary's Mod. Wow, yes. And now we hit Accept. There we go. Let's go ahead and do our game path. Let's just copy this engine path. Control-C or Command-C if you're on a Mac. And now let's go into Game Path. Let's paste that. Now let's type in Gary's Mod as one word. So now this should work. Yeah, it worked. Okay. There we go. Perfect. QC path. Don't even worry about that. Who cares? So you see the export button that you've all wanted to click so that you've all wanted to click so much. I know I want to click it too. So you hit the export button. Boom! Right there. Oh, okay. Fail. Okay. I'm just gonna click selected files. Boom. Look at that. Five five files exported in 0 0.2 seconds. We have our materials and stuff, and that will be in our materials. You guys already know how to do that. Now, we can officially close out a Blender. Oh my god, make sure to save them. So here, we have... Don't worry about all this crap that I have done. This is just, you know, I 
don't worry about that. So here we have our QC file. It should be what the file is named or whatever you want. It's something .qc, doesn't matter. Let's just open this guy up. And now we can see a bunch of stuff in here. And so this is pretty much what I use to compile certain things. Um, you want to keep all this other stuff as it is. Oh, of course, you got to change these paths um, to what you, where, where you want it to be. Now, what we would normally do is just let, let's just go ahead and uh, save that. So, what we're going to do right now is use a program called Crowbar. It, there will be a link in the description. Don't worry about that. Open this guy up real quick. And let's go to Compiler. Uh, let's set up Gary's Mod. So let's set up Games. Uh, I, I added a thing for Gary's Mod. Put the location to... Don't worry about the E, of course. This is just replaced this with Steam. Okay. So we're going to be C colon slash, you know, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, game info dot text as we browse for it. And then the same thing applies here, but a little bit different. It'll be C, um, C colon slash program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod, bin, studio MDL dot exe. That's where that guy will go. So then, you know, we'll hit save and close, which should be fine. And now we go into QC file. And we gotta browse for that, and uh, leave all this other stuff good, and just go ahead and cl click um, compile QC file. So go ahead and hit that, and that'll do whatever. Um, so my model has no sequences because um, you're supposed to have an idle sequence, so that might be important to add to your actual file. Um, but you can worry about that, and this will actually compile into proper files. Gary's mod, Gary's mod slash models, right? It'll, there will be a models folder in there, and all your stuff will be in there. But for the materials, it'll be Gary's mod, Gary's mod slash materials, of course. And that's where all your materials will be. You want to go into your add-ons folder. If you want to test this out on your own, so let's just say... We have an add-on, let's call it test. And in here, what we're going to do is create a new folder. We're going to have materials as well as models. We're pretty much replicating because this will virtually be run on your Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod directory. So we'll have our add-on and we'll have materials models and we can have... Um, if you have sound in there, but I don't see why you would. So then, in materials and models, we would put that. We would put those in. Well, in yeah, in both of them, and you know, as I'm doing, I'm pacing, and that would go in there. And then you should be all set up. Then, as soon as you have this, make sure you have Gary's mod closed while you're doing all this editing, of course. And then you would actually go ahead and open up Gary's mod, and from the spawn menu you would be able to type in um, from the spawn list in the little search box you would type in um, props slash bob slash whatever your thing was called slash door let's just call it for this exa for the for the example props slash bob slash door dot mdl um, that is it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop us like and make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you didn't enjoy the video you know where that button is you know what i'm saying and i mean make sure to share this video with all your other little coding friends your developers and whoever happens to love modeling because i love modeling modeling is fantastic amazing super awesome so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys peace out